Force will be with you. Always. The original Star Wars trilogy is without a doubt the most successful and influential film series in movie history. But just how influential are these movies and how they affected the film industry? In this documentary, we will explore both aspects and see how Star Wars has changed film and American culture forever. Before Star Wars hit the big screen, movie companies and directors were making their movies based around dark storylines and tragic endings, with realistic settings and modern day themes. Then along came Star Wars to change the popular norm of the time, with a plotline filled with adventure, beautiful settings, swashbucklers, princesses, and farm boys who become the destined hero. The director, George Lucas, targeted his movies towards adolescents and young adults while still attracting the attention of the older generations. Just one of the many ways Star Wars hit the mark on so many audiences was with the groundbreaking, never seen before special effects. Special effects before Star Wars were mainly designed around mechanical toys and puppets, also stop motion. Lucas hired Dennis Marin to create the Millennium Falcon, Death Star, and the rest of the spacecraft using blue screen, certain camera filming styles, and other technology to introduce a new type of realness. This set a special effects standards for future filmmakers to build upon. Star Wars movie making tech used a remote control system called an aerobic camera, equipped with computer memory to remember and repeat elaborate movements, making the battle sequences more fluid and believable. Also with a deep running storyline of surprising strings that connect the characters within the movies together and compelling character developments, Star Wars was able to bring audiences back to the screening of the movies multiple times, solely because it made the audience want more. Adults were drawn to the movie because of the deep storyline and romance. Adolescents and young adults were drawn to the amazing sets and getting the privilege to grow up with the characters. This kind of approach to movies had hardly been touched in the past decade during the movie's time. Many people believe that Star Wars saved Hollywood from the sex, drug, and rock and roll generation. Finally, George Lucas needed three movies in order to tell his story of Star Wars. This opened up the industry to having sequels to mega-hit action movies, such as Transformers, Lord of the Rings, the progressing Hobbit trilogy, and Lucas' old Indiana Jones, which, as most of the world believes, should have stayed a trilogy. Before Star Wars came out, ancient myths seemed out of the everyday American subconscious. The economy was suffering, the Vietnam conflict left Americans delusioned, and scandals like Watergate made the population fearful and distrusting of their leaders. This was a culture that needed something new, and along came Star Wars in 1977 to provide new life to movies and to America. After the release of A New Hope, Star Wars became a household name. If you hadn't seen Star Wars once, you'd seen it twice, as it quickly became the highest grossing movie of its time eventually grossing over $400 million at the box office. Some critics were indifferent about it. They believed it was groundbreaking in special effects, but it may not be as good of a storyline and screenplay as people made it out to be. No! No! But critics could not deny the effect it was having on America and the rest of the world. Kids were dressing up as Luke Skywalker for Halloween, and even little girls were dressing up as Princess Leia. Toys ran out in market shelves due to too little production of the original action figures compared to the demand that children were making for them. The whole collectible action figure franchise started with the release of the Star Wars toys. Star Wars is still making money today off of new toys and ideas. It's a trap. So far, Star Wars has grossed over $27 billion in movie release box office, DVD sales, video game sales, and toy sales. This smashes the record for what any franchise has ever made, and is still making money today. Even presidents were naming their plans off of this movie. Ronald Reagan, on March 23, 1983, proposed the SDI, an ambitious project that would construct a space-based anti-missile system. This project was immediately dubbed Star Wars. No one can honestly deny that Star Wars has made an impact on almost everything a person can think of, and it all started with one man's will to tell a story. 
This turning point changed everything, from TV shows to our personal family time spent watching the original trilogy. The franchise shook the Hollywood power structure and changed filmmaking and American culture forever.